I was just so afraid and I didn't want it to happen to anybody else. All new on 11 at 11, a morning jogger attacked in Mason. Police still searching for the suspect at this hour. And police tell nine on your side the jogger was attacked near the Mason Early Childhood Center. This all happened this morning on Hickory Woods Drive near Cherrywood Court and police say the woman managed to push the attacker off and get to a safe place. That woman just shared her terrifying story with nine on your side. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka spoke is live. She joins us with more Ashley. We are in the parking lot of the Mason Early Childhood Center and police are actively patrolling this area tonight. The jogger tells me her attacker didn't try to steal anything. He just wanted her. I saw my life flash in front of me and um, I was just thinking about my daughters. I was thinking about my husband and I just wanted to make sure that I was going to fight and do everything I could. I just did not want to be a victim. Now safe at home, Jennifer told me what happened to her around 630 Monday morning. The weather was unusually warm, so she decided to take advantage of it. It's not a normal route that I run, but I just was running because it's a quiet place and I'm not going to get hit by a car. We aren't going to use Jennifer's last name because of safety concerns. She was running on Hickory Woods Drive near Cherrywood Court in Mason when she noticed a man behind her. He was running up directly behind me, which runners don't do. Moments later, he just grabbed me one hand around my um, neck and one hand over my face and he said be quiet be quiet that's when jennifer says she knew what she had to do i was yelling so loud and i was grabbing his hands to get off of me because i just was not going to let him take me he was pulling me towards this um this grassy area off the road and i just didn't want to i didn't want to go there jennifer didn't have her phone with her so she called 911 as soon as she got home i was attacked when i was running by a man in a black hoodie and a black face mask. A canine officer helped search the area, but the suspect wasn't found. It's an uneasy feeling for families who live nearby. Sangeeta Gunda's daughter was at the bus stop when the attack happened. I was kind of so scared because she goes right at that time. Jennifer says she will never know what her attacker wanted, but she doesn't even want to think about it. I still have my necklace on, so he wasn't trying to take any of my jewelry. I think he was just wondering what he could do to me. Jennifer says she was unable to get a good description of the suspect because he was wearing a hoodie and mask. If you have any information at all, call the Mason Police Department. Reporting live from Mason, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.